Good afternoon. I wanted to talk today about the feature in the flipper where you can unlock particular frequencies and where you can make the flipper actually go outside those frequencies. Now, of course, as is with all my videos, everything is on unleashed firmware, dark flippers unleashed firmware. So I'll explain briefly what these restrictions stroke hacks are. Depending on where you are in the world, there may be certain frequencies that the government does not allow you to transmit on. So a flipper bought in the UK, for example, mine, may have more or less or different frequencies enabled than one purchased in, for example, America or Australia. So dependent on where you buy it, it will have certain frequencies unlocked or restricted. So the first part of this is to unlock all of those frequencies. And the second part of this is to then allow the flipper to operate outside the manufacturer's specification and you do that at your own risk but more on that later so let's look at the safe option although again not legal you must appreciate doing this could you know could possibly land you in trouble if you're transmitting on frequencies that you shouldn't be on but at least this won't do any damage to your flipper so fire up the Q Flipper app. This is how I do it. Browse to your SD card. Browse to the sub GHZ folder, sub gigahertz. Browse to the assets folder. There are two files. I'm just going to delete that one. There are two files in here that we're interested in. This one, dangerous settings. And this one's settings user. And the first one, the safe one to change, is this one. So if we download this file, and I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Okay. And then I open it up simply. It's a just it's a very basic text file. So I'm using Windows. So I'll just open it up in, in Notepad. Okay. And here's the file. And the part we're interested in is here. You'll probably see that. I'll just zoom in a little bit for you. Add standard frequencies equals false. Oh, it doesn't look like it's focusing very well. I'm, I'm going to have to get a better camera. So change the word false to the word true. And then save the file. So we've now saved it with that new value. So delete the file that's currently on your flipper and then simply replace it with the new settings user file. And that, when you reboot your flipper, that will unlock all of the worldwide restrictions on the frequencies, if you will. Now the second part of this hack, I'll just delete that file. The second part of this hack is making the radio frequency transmitter chip in here, which is an incredible little device, it must be said. Making it transmit on frequencies it was never ever designed to do. Now, its limits, in fact, it's set to 928 megahertz, and this, this proposed setting allows it to transmit, I think it's up to 962. I haven't actually seen anybody online 
sort of do anything with this. So I don't know how accurate or true it is. It must be said at this point, making the chip run outside specification is... It's not guaranteed to damage it, but be aware it could potentially damage it if it overheats, if you run it too long or, you know, you do this at your own risk. But I'm not here to, to tell you what to do. I'm just here to show you how to do it. So the dangerous settings file. So again, download it. And again, I want to just stick it on my desktop. Okay. And again, simply open it up in, well, in my case, Notepad, but you've chosen Basic Text Editor. And the line here, yes, I want to destroy my flipper. False. Change the false to the word true. Save the file. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm, I don't want to destroy my device just yet, which is unusual for me. But as I get older, I get a little bit more seasoned. So, yeah, simply change that from false to true. Then copy it back onto the flipper, overwriting the original file. And then you have unlocked the chip on your flipper and it will now go, apparently, out of specification. And that is how to do that. So I hope that was useful. As I say, it's a very simple setting. Um, again, your firmware will probably have something similar if you're not using Unleashed. But I do like Unleashed firmware. It's very good. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.